up. We all have our score predictions listed on this graphic. I'm going to go to Kenji for his as well. We'll start. There you have it. Well, uh, look at Brandon. He made the graphic. Uh, yeah. Still got this picture of me. Up here. Yeah, <laughs> JB. That yeah, that JB picture is classic. Yeah, that JB picture ain't going nowhere, JB. Um, it looks like you just had a night with Hillary Duff. I think that's what right? that looks like. She finally answered the text back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my score. I got 27-20. Uh, I think the Lions win by a touchdown here. I do think it's close. The Bears are at home. I don't expect them to completely crap the bed, but I think the offense for the for the Lions will just be too much, and they're not going to turn the football over. That's the difference. So Lions, they win 27-20. Oh, man, good good call. I actually predicted on yesterday's show, and I'm flip-flopping, but flip-flopping the positive way towards the Lions actually winning this game. As, as you can see, it is very, very close. I think that the Lions kind of play a little bit more methodical. The Bears do get some things going offensively especially with Justin Fields running I still think that's a problem with the with the Lions and they're going to be able to run the ball a little more effectively with Aline McNeil being out but I think the difference in the game is something else you can always count on Justin Fields doing I think the Bears have a late lead I think it's like time's kind of running out in the fourth quarter maybe four three minutes left and Justin Fields commits a terrible turnover like he did last year and it gives the Lions a short field in order to run out the rest of the clock and score a game-winning touchdown where the extra point is the difference to make it 24 to 23 Detroit Lions and uh by the way Lucas Klotz you're yeah Lucas that... Klotz is down bad in the chat right now <laughs> yeah, that's an amazing uh, quote <laughs> Sir, Sir James says JB's pick is payback for the drops on Jeff yes Sir James it is you Damn. know what that's a great point JB what about your score prediction that's break it down fair. for me that, that's fair I completely understand that um my 28 23 is still going to be a very close game but I do expect the Lions to hop out to an early lead kind of ride that out the majority of the game eventually AG's defense will step up. It'll be that bend but don't break. And, you know, Lions will come out with a W on this one. But it will be extremely close. And uh, we'll all be on the edge of our seat watching this game once again. Griffin Lackey, shout out to him. He says, Flannel, you have the most fantasy ass scenarios. <laughs> I know. Flannel, like, I could picture it in my head. Like, I'm sitting here, like, meditating. I could just picture Flannel's scenario, what he's describing. Uh, did you say uh, Justin Fields gets knocked out for the season or no? Did no, you I did not. Okay. I said he commits a costly turnover when they when it's, like, it's okay. really not needed at all. I love it. Like uh, he did against last year for Jeff Okuda. Uh, yeah, that is Jeff true. Okuda, yeah. uh, Kool-Aid. Yes, 27 17. Talk to me. Why Why 27 17? Hey, look, I think it's going to be 24 17. The Bears are going to have this last drive. And similar to what Flannel just said, Fields is going to have a costly turnover. And the Lions are going to kick that last field goal to just kind of put it just out of reach uh, and seal this game. I believe that the offense is going to actually do a lot of like underneath stuff, obviously, yep. and then have the opportunity on one of those plays to surprise the Bears with like J-Mo or Sam Laporta on a deep, deep, deep catch. Sam Laporta this year, he has the longest reception for the Lions at 48 yards. I think he's going to have a big game too.